What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are doing another of our top 5 mega bases, and we usually focus on survival or hardcore mode, but today we're going to switch it up and look at some creative and world edit builds because they are absolutely insane and definitely deserve some attention as well. While they may not have to go out and collect all the materials to build these, there is still a ton of creativity and a very unique style to all of these builds, so it's definitely something we have to check out. The first one we are looking at today is Gemini Tay, who is a Hermitcraft member and also on the Empire's SMP, and she has this incredible build with these big twisting islands that she builds up from the ground. As much as I love all the buildings and dragons that she did throughout this, I gotta say I actually really love these islands and the look of them, how they're spiraling up to the top. I think it's a very unique style and definitely a super cool idea for a build. And this would be insanely difficult to do in survival, so I'm glad she hops into creative every once in a while and works on some things that just let her creativity uh, fly. And before I forget, don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, and if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well and check out the rest of our content. Alright, back into this video, next up we are looking at one of my favorite builders on YouTube, and that is Andy is Yoda. He does some incredible designs, all sorts of things throughout Minecraft, and this one is a huge city. I absolutely love this, I believe it's called Kajar City, and it looks absolutely incredible as a finished product. The time lapse of this city being built is actually incredibly satisfying, so I highly recommend you go and check it out. All the links are in the description down below so you can go and check out their channels and these builds specifically. This city looks absolutely amazing. The walls, towers, everything just form together really perfectly and there is so much detail throughout this whole build. A build like this, even in creative, would take hours and hours, probably hundreds of hours to finish if not thousands. The walls are extremely impressive and I love this palace that he's built right at the end here. With all the towers and everything, it looks incredible. As far as massive cities in Minecraft go, there are not many that rival this, but there are some out there still. I love the docks and the outside city walls that he's built as well, and he's even added boats around the whole area to give it a realistic feel. This city looks amazing, of course, from a faraway view that we're mostly getting here, but even if you go up closer into all the buildings, you can see that there's a ton of detail in each and every build, and it definitely took a lot of work to be able to do all this. There are so many blocks and little details that just really change up how the actual city feels. They even have a variety of blocks in the pathways and everything, which you really don't expect to see in a build this huge. It definitely looks amazing though, and I love all the different details on top of the rooftops in this city center. It definitely is a very cool creative build. 